okay? I'm, that was my comfortable one. I'm gonna show you the one with the step, step, split, forward. Let's talk about the return of serve, guys. Before I give you any tips, I know you guys love technical tips. I'm gonna give you a mental tip. Understand return of serve. I don't care how you do it, you gotta get that ball back. Get that ball over the net, okay? You'll never break someone's serve if you don't find a way to get that ball back in the court. Do it with the back of your racket, do it behind you, slice, top spin. I don't care how you do it. Get that ball back, okay? Once you get that into your mind, I'm gonna give you a couple of tips. Stay tuned. Once again, guys, I'm not gonna stretch out this video because there's a couple of basics and once you get it on return of serve, you got it, okay? The first thing is you have to have a short, short backswing, okay? Always tell my players, short backswing, long follow through. You gotta think, think like half swing, okay? So if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna have a, a return of serve, it's a half swing, long follow through. The shorter I can go back, the more time I have, especially against a big server, okay? Obviously if the serve by mistake or it's a second serve goes, gets to you slower, then you have a, a bigger swing. But more often than not, short backswing, long follow through. I even tell some of my players short backswing and then think like long volley, long volley. Just get it back in the court. Got uh, one of our coaches, Bryn Langley over there. You might have seen him on some of the other videos. He's just gonna pop me some serves from the service line so I can show you. So now just look at my upper body and look at my legs yet, okay. Short back swing, long follow through, that's all I'm doing. Okay, short, long follow through. And again, right there, notice I'm also going forward. If you have a short uh, back swing, it's easier to go forward as well. Short, long forward. Can you give me one single backhand as well? Same principle. Oh, he aced me. Good serve there. One more. Short, long. There we go. That's it, guys. I'm not going to waste your time. The shorter back, the better. That's how you're going to get the ball back. Remember our first step? I don't care how you do it. Get the ball back in the court. And then lastly, guys, let's talk about the split step quickly. How do you do it? When do you do it? And uh, so what I'm going to show you is many players like to take a big step forward. Take a big step forward. And as the opponent contacts the ball, they split. Okay. But the most important thing is a split step. Quick one. If you've noticed that I've got different clothing on, well done. And the last part of the video got lost, so I'm making it again. It's a different day. The sun came up, so life is good. And while you're at it, maybe you're laughing, why don't you subscribe as well? So let me show you the first one. With the step, right before contact point, I'm gonna split, look at my feet, okay? And short back swing, long follow through, and go. Step, go. So I'm stepping. Okay, let me show you without a ball quickly. I want you to check out this. And then right before they go for it, I split, okay? And short back swing, long follow through. Oh, I was too slow there. Let me show you a single backhand quickly. Getting ready to throw, step, and boom. Okay, single backhand. They're getting ready to throw, step, and boom. They're getting ready, step, split. Boom, I'll do one more with a single backhand. Step, split, boom, forward. So that stepping allows you to have forward momentum already. And then when you fall into the split, you can react in any direction. And then last one, you don't have to do the step. A lot of players like Djokovic just start like this, split and then go forward, or maybe they do a small little step and then split. The most important thing is the split. So you can start like this as well, split, Boom, start, split, and then go. Single backhand, ready position, split. Oh, it was the forehand again. So they serving skew, single backhand, split. And I'll give you one more, ready. Normal split, bit of a slow serve there. One more, split, double split, go. Okay, so you don't have to take the step. Split step is the most important thing over there. Come on, champs. There's nothing else to it. If I talk more on the return of serve, I'm just going to be talking rubbish. That's the foundation. That's what you focus on. Please remember, the biggest, most important thing you got to remember is get that ball back. Doesn't matter how you do it, okay? Get that ball back in the court. That's the best return you can get. After that, you work on your short back swing, long follow through. You work on your split step. And there's one last little tip. You're probably thinking, where should I stand? Uh, should I go all the way back? 
should I go forward? And, this, and, and unfortunately, there's no clear answer there. It depends on you. Right now, me currently, when I play matches, I go further back. It's helping me to have a full swing. Um, sometimes I play better when I stand closer. It depends on the day, depends on your timing. So there's no real set way where to stand, unfortunately.